Hey everybody, what's going on? It's the Daily Moogle, welcome back to Eternal Eden. And, uh, well, in this video, we're still on Turtle Island. <laughs> so, yeah, we had just finished off the Gigas Turtle, which is an enemy that you can bounty hunt. And, uh, it's also the way that you get the Gigas Turtle, uh, here, if I look at my hunting license. Right there at the bottom, you can see there's one Gigas turtle in this entire place, and that's how you get it. So I figure while we're here, uh, we may as well go and collect some more. So, like, here's a couple of grass turtles, and there's going to be another one right up here. Grab him quickly, and then let's go ahead and we'll just kind of run around like morons and, you know, see what other turtles we can grab while we're here, basically. Um, I think this will let, this will take us just back over to where we've been before. Yeah. So, I don't know, let's talk to you. You're looking for moist turtles, right? Yeah, you want ten of them? I actually have ten of them now. Awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, of course I'm going to share them. Because remember, this is how we get some uh, items and stuff. Is by basically showing our turtles to these random people walking around. And here's a fire guard that we pr we probably could have gotten this before the two fire dungeons that we just went through, but that's okay. Eight mid tonics and four ethers. Nice. Um, so let me quickly head back here because I think there's a moon turtle that I can hopefully get before the weather changes again. Yep, there he is right here. And then let's go ahead and explore up here to the left now. It's just a couple of guys talking, but we do want to pay attention very closely to what they say. Okay, so where did you lose it again? Um, er, uh, uh, I don't remember. Moron, <laughs> try to remember. The last thing I remember before fainting is putting a, out a fire... Putting out a fire, is what I was trying to say, at the Dryad Yard. So that is an area within Turtle Island somewhere. And I think we've been there before, I just don't remember exactly how to get to it. So he says, then some noises caught his attention, so he walked eight paces east. That would be to the right. And then four south. And then he fainted on that square. <laughs> so eight to the right, and four down. If we go to that area, there should be something that we can find. Oops. I guess it doesn't matter which one of these NPCs you talk to, it just kicks off the same conversation. So, sorry about that. Oh no, I did it again! Okay. <laughs> I figured I would skip the conversation the third time. Um, figured you guys were probably tired of, uh, seeing that, so whatever. Um, let's go ahead and maybe run down here. Um, yeah. I don't remember exactly how to get to that area. But I figure we'll just run around and maybe see if there's any other turtles I missed. It's not this, this way, is it? Actually, this is it. Yeah, this is the Dryad Yard, okay. So, from the fire, he said he went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 down. Ooh, and look at that! The it that they were talking about is a small key. So, um, lo and behold, you might remember there's a few grass turtles that we couldn't get to. They were right there in plain sight, but you can't get to them because they're behind a locked door. And apparently you can't just climb the fence. That would be too easy. So the small key that we just acquired is actually used to be able to get those ones. Yeah, and since it's raining, I figure I would just move some rocks and see if uh, I find any moist turtles. Let's see. Let's go down here. Yep, they're going to be right in here, but... um. They won't appear until it stops raining, so I guess I'll just wait for a second, and hopefully it stops raining soon. 
Oh my god, finally. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I was literally standing here for almost ten minutes. You know, with my recording running. And it just kept either raining or it was nighttime and they wouldn't show up. So they finally showed up. And, yeah, I'm already at, like, 12 minutes for my recording. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to cut out, like, probably, like, 8 minutes of that. But anyway, here's a moon turtle down here, conveniently. Jeez, at least I didn't have to wait 8 minutes for that guy. But, um, anyway, let's go ahead and just, uh, I guess slowly make our way back toward the beginning of the place. And let's talk to you, I guess, since we're here. Can't find a moist turtle. I was hoping to find at least five of them. Oh, I don't have five? Hmm. Did I give every single moist turtle that I had to that other that other NPC? I guess I must have. Jeez. Alright, well. Sorry. <laughs> I'll come back later. So yeah, we may have enough turtles to um, rank up and get a new thing from Gideon. I probably don't have enough for you, because you want a ton of turtles, right? Yeah, you want 15 grass and 10 moon. I doubt I'm even close to that. Oh, the grass turtles I have. I just need three more moon turtles for that guy. Okay. So I'm really not too far. Uh, shows you how much I pay attention. Um, so let's see, did I show off... Yeah, I did show off going over here, but there is a moon turtle over here that we didn't get yet, so there you go. <laughs> now I'm down to two. But yeah, we, we will make another visit here um, later on in the game. I just don't want to, like, spend the entire video running around, so... Congratulations! You've reached a new rank. Here you go! Yep, and we get the region ring. Um... Which is actually amazing. Um, yeah, I've seen what this accessory can do. And uh, it is ridiculously awesome. So, the description says that you gradually recover HP while walking or in battles. Sounds good, right? Well, when you see the amount of HP that you recover, at least in a battle, um, you'll be pretty amazed. So I'm going to put that on Noah so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, let's check our progress. So we're at 65% now, huh? And we're a master hunter already. Awesome. So, if you look at it, I mean... We pretty much have a lot of, you know, the ones that we can get. I'm sure there's some that I'm still missing out there that I could go grab right now, but... Mainly it's the caved hurdles, and those are obviously the ones in the areas that are still too dark for us to explore. So it's not even possible for us to get any of those turtles right now. So we're not doing too bad. Very nice. Um, Alright, so I think what I'll do is uh, let me meet you back at Gideon's place in the Dark World, the World of Shadows now, so that we can get all of our goodies from uh, the stuff we did in the last video. Oh, so um, on my way to... Uh, the portal to go to the World of Shadows. Um, yeah, Elder, in my last video, made a comment about something I said, which is not true. <laughs> um, to get to the area where you first meet Fierro, uh, you don't have to face to the left here. You can face in any direction and just push the action button, and it, you know, you, you can get in. Um, I also noticed that you can actually stand on the other side and basically do the same thing. And then you'll actually show up on the other side of it, too. So, just thought that was kind of neat. Um, and uh, just wanted to make sure I corrected that as well. So, let me continue on to uh, Gideon's place again. I'll see you there. Alright, folks. Here we are. Let's go ahead and uh, check out... Um, I'm not exactly sure where the crystals are going to be, so just bear with me. I kind of just need to check every single little hut here. Excuse me. Alright, so it's none of those. <laughs> Let's go up here then. Yeah, so here's a couple. This one was for the little devil. He was the one that liked to cast Confuse on your whole party. What did I just call him? I didn't say Imp, did I? 
His name was Imp. <laughs> Not Little Devil, yeah. But uh, we get a bird mask for uh, defeating that guy, which is the accessory that lowers wind damage. Yeah. And then this one is for the nightmare that we fought. And we get a wizard ring for him, for killing him. Which, uh, we haven't had one of these before, but it raises spirit by 10, so yeah, it's kind of nice. It's a good boost. And then we should have one or two more here. Let's see. Here's the Gygus Turtle, yep. For killing the Gygus Turtle, we get ted 10 Mid-Ethers and 3 Elixirs. Wow. Not a bad haul. And then here, the lone enemy was the Ninetail, which again is where we uh, met Fiero for the first time. And we had a Fox Cap, which uh, it's kind of hard to tell what that does by the name, so let's... Check it out. Um, maybe it's headgear? Yeah. A reddish-brown ca cap that helps prevent fire damage. Hmm, okay. So that's kind of cool. I guess instead of using up the accessory slot, uh, you know, where you other otherwise would have equipped a fire guard, I guess you could use this instead, and then you can still, you know equip some other accessory to get even, uh, you know, another bonus. So, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, you know what? I did just see that, didn't I? Yeah, the item we just picked up, the wizard ring, um, that's nothing compared to the mage ring. <laughs> I forgot I actually had the mage ring, so clearly it's superior. You get plus 25 instead of plus 10, but, you know, whatever. I guess you have your options. And then uh, here we haven't done anything yet, so... Uh, that'll be all the bounty hunting and turtle hunting that we're going to do for now. Um, so what I'd like to do now is actually go ahead and just progress the plot a little bit. Um, you know what, let me talk to Gideon first before I forget. Oh, okay. I guess we didn't get a new rank yet. But we're at 36%. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, advance the plot. Let me go ahead and just meet you back in the world of, uh, light. And we'll start there. Back in the world of light! And, uh, yeah. The next area that we're looking for is a... cold, wintry, Antarctic-looking place. And I should be able to find this... quickly. There it is. <laughs> um, but I think we're on the wrong side. We actually dock our ship way on the other end of this place. So, let's sail around. Uh, yeah, right in here, actually. Okay. And, yeah, this is the next... basically, dungeon. And remember, we couldn't even explore this area technically before we have the Sub-Zero ability, so... you can't even really come here by accident. Sometimes in RPGs, you can accidentally go to some place you're not ready for yet and you end up getting destroyed by the enemies kind of a thing, you know? So, it's kind of a poke a yoke for that, I guess. But yeah, look at how thick the snow is. And believe it or not, there's actually two enemies floating around this screen right now. <laughs> and I say it that way because, you know, the snowfall is so heavy that it actually does make them kind of hard to see if you're not paying attention, so... You know, if you're not careful, you'll accidentally engage a battle that you might not be ready for. Burr, it sure is cold. This place sure is different from that desert we went through. <clears throat> yeah, this is a pretty sharp contrast. But I like it. I'm a fan of winter. More so than most people. I mean, I, I it's not like I love winter. I don't like driving through snow or anything, but I do like snowboarding and... The cold doesn't really bother me as much as a lot of people, it seems like. So Noah's never seen snow before, huh? Yeah, I guess it's never snowed before, where they come from. But here in Michigan, it snows all the time. <laughs> and last winter was horrible. We had so much snow last winter, it wasn't even funny. It really wasn't. <laughs> and I keep hearing that this coming winter is going to be like just as bad or something like that, but hopefully they're wrong about that. 
Anyway, this area is called the Gaza Woods. And we do want to go ahead and change our accessories um, outside of Noah because I already did that for him. But we don't have any need of these fire guards anymore. Uh, you can probably figure out not, you know, there's not going to be any fire attacks used on us in this place. So um, basically we'll just throw on uh, whatever I feel like. I don't know. Um, let's give Downey the battler ring. Why not? Maybe we'll give Gene this, um, there it is, the mage ring. So he gets some, some nice spirit there. And then let's see, for Fierro, jeez, I don't know. Maybe the agility boost? Yeah, this one, the dash ring. Unless I want him to have status ailment protection. I guess it's probably a good idea to have at least one party member that won't be affected by any of that. And I've been kind of slacking on his equipment, haven't I? <laughs> Jeez. I think I must have assumed that he was a temporary party member, and I, so I wasn't really bothering to put anything good on him. But now that I think about it, that there was a difference between him and Joel in that regard, because Joel could only equip specific kinds of equipment that no one else could. So it's not like you could accidentally put good equipment on her, and then she dies, so you lose that good equipment. But in any event, we have some new enemies here, Auroras. And, uh, yeah, these guys are a little bit of a pain because uh, they cast Ice 2 on you all the time, which actually can do decent damage. So, you know, you gotta kind of watch out for that. Yep, there it is. See, like, if Fierro gets two of those... I mean, he could die, depending on the random randomness of exactly how much damage it does. Oh, and by the way, did you see that? Did you just see that? Yeah, the region ring on Noah, it just recovered 940 HP for, for him, automatically. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Jeez, man, calm down on the ice, too. But yeah, it's just ridiculous. Every round of battle, he'll just automatically recover a ton of HP. Like, that's awesome. That is incredibly helpful. And here's the, un the other enemy right over here, if you couldn't really see him. And more new enemies, Sasquatch. Oh, you know what else I need to do? I think Downey still has an ice elemental weapon. <laughs> I'm probably going to want to change that. Um, let's see how much they like fire. Because I bet they don't like it too much. Their attacks aren't that strong. For Sasquatches, I mean, I expected them to do a little bit more damage than that, so that's nice. Nice. Fire's gonna be a great spell in this place, then. I mean... It did about 2200 damage, and it only costs... Uh, what, 5 MP to use? So that's pretty efficient use of magic points, if I do say so myself. Okay, there's an item. I knew there had to be at least, like, a little bit more items in this... on the screen. Let me just make sure, I guess. Um, but in any event, guys, uh, I think this is about as far as we're gonna get in this dungeon for now. Uh, in the next video, we'll go ahead and continue. <clears throat> And uh, like most of the dungeons so far, it'll probably take a couple of videos to actually get all the way through. So that's kind of uh, the roadmap, you know, for the next video or two. But in any event, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is the Daily Moogle, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.